Hey guys, this is AK Pro Films, and today we are going to do a comparison between Google Chrome and Safari that's pre-built in on Mountain Lion. So why don't we dive into this comparison test right away. So to kick off this comparison test, let's throw up Google Chrome onto the second monitor and Safari onto this monitor. We'll start out with Safari and then we'll jump over to Google Chrome and review that second. And then at the very end we will do a speed comparison test to end the video. So here is Safari. So Safari comes pre-built with your computer and I happen to have Mountain Lion right here. So this is the current version of Safari. So up here we have all of our navigation tags and all of that. And you can always customize this as well by going and right clicking and pressing customize toolbar. From here you can drag certain things up there if you want certain things. And then if you just want to do the default, you can just drag that up there as well. So it's very nice just to have that customizability. And you also have more tabs over here that you can customize. You can uh, add new bookmarks and throw it up here. And also, you can set your home page by going into Safari Preferences and you can go and change everything like that. For instance, I have the home page at Google. You can change whatever you want. And you can choose your default web browser. I happen to have Google Chrome and I like that a lot better at this moment. So I have that as my default. And you can also change all of these other settings as well to your liking. So here it is. It's a very simple web browser. You have tab-based navigation and it's very fluid. So why don't we go to apple.com and from here I'll just show you how fluid it is. So with two fingers you can scroll up and down throughout the page. You can pinch to zoom and if you pinch out far enough you can go to this tab navigator. So it's very nice. And going to different pages it seems very fast as well and it has very good and fluid navigation. So I like that aspect of Safari. Here's all your bookmarks and you can go to the show top sites where all of your other sites can show up. So you can also go to your history and all of that. So it's very nice, very nice and all of that. So you can also use the iCloud tabs and this will pop up when you have different tabs open on all your devices. If you want me to do a demonstration video about this, just leave a comment in the comment section. So, you have a very nice UI, very fast and fluid. So why don't we go to our next competition, which is Google Chrome. So why don't we jump over to that one right away. So here we are, and this is Chrome on my second desktop. So here we go. Here is your main page with all of your apps that you can add via the Chrome Web Store. So when you click on this, you can go over to all the apps and you can add them by clicking on it and pressing Add to Chrome. These are all free apps, which is really nice. And they're basically just like shortcuts, but they're really nice. So you can customize those all you want. And you can press over here to go to this page with all your recently visited, visited websites. And for instance, if you just want to go to one that you've recently gone to, you just press on it. So it's a very fast internet browser, and it is very fluid and fast, as I just said. So going to different pages it is a very, very nice polished web browser from Google. So let's say I want to customize some stuff. All you have to do is go over to the tab bar over here and press Preferences. I know you can't see it, but all you have to do is go to Chrome Preferences. So over here, you can go and change all of these settings. You can add users, which is really nice. So if you have a family and you have like four people, you can add four users and everybody would be different. And if you want me to demonstrate any of these features individually, just leave me a comment and then I will go from there and I'll try my best to make the video and the content that you want me to do. So over here, we get back to this page. So launching apps is very simple. All you have to do is click on it. So for instance, if I want to go to Google Docs 
All you have to do is click on that and then you're there. So, you know, it's a very simple, simple web browser and you can customize that all you want. So let's say you want to change the color theme up here. You would go to the Chrome Web Store and go down to the bottom over here. You can go to themes and you have all these stuff if I haven't mentioned that before extensions and all that so you can just click on themes and so let's say you want this uh, this theme you just choose the theme and you'll add that theme and it'll change the look of your web browser very simply so I really don't like this one right now so all you have to do is go to Chrome preferences and go over here and reset to default theme. So it's very simple, very nice web browser. So to conclude this video, let's do a speed test. So why don't I exit out of these both, relaunch them, and then let's get to that speed comparison test. So ending this video, let's do the comparison test. So what we're gonna do is go to, let's go to CNN.com. All right, so it took that fast for Safari and it's still loading. And why don't we go over to here and try it on here. So that was a lot faster, I could tell, on Google Chrome, which is over here. So now let's go over to the Star Tribune. And wait for that to load. That was a little faster. And it seemed like Google Chrome got it a little faster that time too. So that just gave you a little bit of an idea of how fast these both of these browsers are. So if I were choosing the browser, I would go with Google Chrome because it has more customizability and it's a little faster. So that's my personal preference. Let me know what you like in the comment section. And if there's a feature that you would want me to go over in more depth, leave that in the comment section as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the videos to come, and thanks for watching.